Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Four Corner States in Nevada. Our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, while we have offices in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Littleton, Colorado. In addition, we provide consulting and training in these ANSYS tools worldwide. This is another video in our Getting to Know ANSYS video series. Welcome to ANSYS Rigid Body Dynamics, or RBD. In this video, we're going to look at what is RBD, what are some of its capabilities, why those capabilities make it useful, and who can benefit from using it. So let's start off with what exactly RBD is. RBD is an add-on module to the structural world of ANSYS Mechanical, which if you're not familiar, is used to solve for deformation, stress, strain, and thermal analyses. RBD allows for a deep understanding of the motion and stability of mechanical systems, which is very important, particularly early on in the development cycle. RBD has a relatively small computational footprint. It does not use traditional FEA methods and so is much faster than a transient analysis. Finally, RBD provides an easy ability to convert the rigid assembly to a partial or fully flexible representation to capture deformations and stresses in important components. Now let's look at some of the questions that might be answered by analyzing your system with RBD. How is our mechanical system going to operate? Are our joints going to hold up? Are the springs enough to damp out the motion? This is just a subset of the questions that are very important to know the answer to whether your system is two components large or has 1,000 components. Maybe some of the observations that you might make are, here's where we need a stronger linkage. Looks like we're actually getting some imbalances in the motion. Maybe we should use a different type of joint here. These observations are critical, and what's more important is the ability to obtain these observations before any prototype is built, saving time, effort, and money. Now let's look at some of the capabilities with RBD. It provides a vast array of joint types, loads, and contact conditions to appropriately set up the assembly in a real-world manner. Joint types range from revolute, to slot, to cylindrical, and more, and each of them allows different control of various degrees of freedom. Here's an example. Here we have a revolute joint, and if you look to the left of the picture, you'll notice that it's telling you that only the rotation around the z-axis is free to rotate. Everything else is fixed. Furthermore, you have plenty of other options within each joint. Things like whether the joint goes to another body or to ground, stiffness or damping effects. All of them are existent with all the different joint types. Let's look at these joint types in a little bit more detail here. So here we are in the rigid dynamics interface and you'll see that it's the same interface as ANSYS Mechanical which makes it easy for current users who are familiar with the tool as well as for new users who want to use an easy to use interface. Adding joints in RBD is quite simple. You can either have body-to-body -body or body-to-ground joints, and under each of those you have various types including revolute and slot, which is what we're using here. We have two revolute joints and a slot joint that we need to add. For each joint, you'll notice at the upper left of the graphics window that a row of degrees of freedom is either highlighted in gray for fixed degree of freedom or left colored for free. That tells you which degree of freedom each joint is specifying. And there we have it. We've put in our three different joints, our two revolute and our slot, and now we can move forward with the analysis. Moving on, RBD exists in the ANSYS Workbench environment, so it has full capability to connect to ANSYS Design Explorer for both parameterization and optimization studies. It can automatically facilitate connecting parts through joints when a complex assembly is imported. This is huge in terms of saving time and effort you will not have to go to every single pair of components to assign a joint. Many of them are automatically generated for you, and the only thing you have to do is change the type. The automatic degree of freedom checker will identify any redundant degrees of freedom in your model and automatically correct them in an appropriate manner. Finally, RBD's post-processing capabilities includes animations for both deformations and joint probes to obtain force values. Let's take our original model and look at the results right now. Once the RBD analysis is complete, you can come into RBD and go to Total Deformation and run the animation, 
which will allow you to see the motion of your assembly and how everything is going to operate and whether or not the joints are appropriately fixed. Then you can take all the joints, convert them to joint probes, and then it will allow you to see the force values at each joint, especially during the course of the analysis. So here's an example. We're going to look at that revolute joint between the two components over time. So we can see the force direction and magnitude changing during the course of the analysis, which is pretty cool. Next, let's look at why RBD is useful. What makes RBD extremely useful is that it was developed strictly for the purposes of analyzing mechanical systems in a quick, efficient manner. Its toolset, including joints, the automatic degree of freedom checker, and others, are tailored to ensure ease of use while ensuring that robustness and accuracy are not sacrificed. A huge key point is that because RBD does not utilize typical FEA methods, it is significantly faster than doing a transient analysis with, let's say, ANSYS Mechanical or other FEA tools. Its close tie-in with ANSYS Mechanical makes it a breeze to optimize different components in the system. Again, let's take our original model and take a look at how that works right now. So, in ANSYS Workbench, where the Rigid Dynamics module sits, you can click the little arrow and go to Replace with Transient Structural, which will then create the second module. And when we open that up, it will go into ANSYS Mechanical, which will contain all the relevant information from RBD, including joint types, joint loads, and post-processing objects. Now, if we're interested in converting the link to Flexible, we can click on the link and go to Flexible, and then it will ask you to generate a mesh for it. Everything else stays rigid. Now all we have to do is come in here and click Solve. This will take a little bit longer than RBD because it is a transient FEA. Once that's done, you saw that it will take about 5 minutes to analyze. We can come back to Total Deformation and now we can see the Total Deformation distribution along the linkage. From that, what we can also do is insert in an equivalent stress plot. So if we go to Insert, Stress, Equivalent Stress, on that particular link, we can evaluate it and what's great is now you can look at the equivalent stress results at individual points along the graph. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and hide the wheel so that's easier to see that joint, that revolute joint that we added earlier, which is more critical in this particular case. So we can see how the stress propagates and changes over time during the course of the analysis. This is huge because again you're allowing RBD to set up the model and set up the motion of the mechanism but you're still allowed the capability to run a transient structural model in mechanical to obtain stress, deformation, and strain results. Finally, let's look at who can benefit from using RBD. Companies who design, manufacture, or integrate moving machinery, including those in the automotive, mining, and energy industries, can really use RBD's quick solver. Engineers who need to analyze the dynamics of a system in a quick, efficient manner can utilize RBD's different tool sets, including the automatic degree of freedom checker. Those who would like to understand the mechanisms involved with a particular design before building any prototypes, thus saving time, effort, and money. So we hope this video on RBD was useful. As you see, there are many different uses for RBD in the world, in various many industries. If you have any questions on RBD or any of the other ANSYS tools, feel free to jump on our website at padtinc.com or you can give us a call at 1-800-293-PADT.